I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 28th day of April. Oh, it's so nice today. Tomorrow looks good, but still a lot of questions about the weekend. No doubt parts of the Deep South will see strong storms and heavy rain. Who gets it? Let's see if we can figure it out together. Here's the Skycam shots. First off, coming from Mount Sheehaw. Beautiful day today. A few fair weather cumulus clouds. Temperatures are sitting right around 70 in most spots up there. It's only in the uh, low and mid-60s because of the elevation. Let's go way down south. That's a big boat, battleship USS Alabama, up on the northern part of Mobile Bay, a cloudless sky in deep south Alabama. And, boy, look at the Tom Bigby running awfully high. That's the sky cam from Demopolis. Looking north right around the bend is the confluence of the Tom Bigby and the Black Warrior River. Up on the uh, water vapor satellite shot, we are in a northwest flow aloft. That means we'll be in good shape tonight and tomorrow. Big trough evolving right on schedule out west. Temperatures are mostly in the upper 60s and low 70s. Tuscaloosa, the warm spot, at 71. Uh, Birmingham at 69. Only 64 for Gadsden. We should be in the upper 70s this time of the year. Watch warning map. Hang on to your hat. Wind advisories out there across the uh, Great Plains. And the mountains, parts of the deserts, will see blowing dust tonight. Convective outlooks, this is uh, day two tomorrow. Got a risk of severe weather from near Oklahoma City to Minneapolis-St. Paul. On Friday, a pretty large slight risk all the way from the western Gulf Coast to the Great Lakes. And within that, we've got a couple of 30% uh, bullseyes. One uh, southern core there through Little Rock, Greenville, Mississippi, Monroe, Louisiana, and the other one basically up there from Des Moines to Chicago. And in addition to the threat of severe weather, they'll have the chance of heavy rain. And Saturday, uh, the area shifts only a little to the east. It doesn't clip the extreme northwestern part of Alabama. The uh, main risk running from near Longview and Tyler, Texas, up to uh, Cincinnati and Columbus, Ohio. And that does include Jackson, Little Rock, Memphis, and Louisville. And boy, look at the QPF, whopper of a rain event. And I think this is right. Uh, we're going to have a multiple-day heavy rain event affecting areas just north and west of here. Uh, the bullseye, 6.2 inches between Tupelo and Memphis. The uh, axis of the heavier rain running from near Vicksburg back up to uh, near Jackson, Tennessee. And no doubt there will be some flooding concerns there. Let's take a look. This is the 12Z GFS valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow, 1 o'clock on uh, uh, Thursday at 500 millibars. Got ridging here, so we'll have a beautiful day, sunny with a high close to 80. The big trough is evolving out west and down below. We'll be in great shape. Awfully windy across the plains, howling winds out of the south. Friday, again, we've got kind of a warm breeze here. We'll be up in the mid-80s, but you can see clearly the axis of the showers and storms is off to the west. I think Friday will be mostly dry. We might mention a slight chance of a shower, but probably nothing beyond that. And then Saturday, kicking off the weekend, there you go. Big trough to the west, warm, 588 ridge over Florida in the southeast coast. And you can see how the gulf is open, and that would suggest a chance of scattered showers. Maybe a storm, but the concentrated rain will be from Little Rock to Memphis back up toward Louisville. And that's where the greatest risk of flooding and severe weather will be. I guess there could be a strong storm in spots, but again, the better dynamic lift is off to the west. And then Sunday, not much changes. Uh, ridge holds over Florida, trough to the west. Heaviest rain axis remains just to the west. If this is right, a pretty good chunk of the state could be dry Sunday with heavy rains for places like uh, Nashville, Muscle Shoals, Alabama, and down into uh, the delta of Mississippi. And there will be great concern for some flooding in through there. And then Monday of next week, even here, the, the GFS kind of keeping the ridge in place, the heaviest rain still north and west. And even Tuesday, with secondary low forms out there, and again, that would suggest maybe some showers around, but uh, uh, really for the next five days, the uh, GFS wants to keep the really heavy rain and strong storms a little off to the west. And then Wednesday of next week, uh, a short wave comes through, and that inevitably will start to push all of that out of here. A uh, surface low is over eastern Kentucky with a trailing front down through uh, Birmingham and Mobile. And who knows, it might be Wednesday of next week, a week from today, before the uh, next decent shower and storm event here. But no doubt, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, at least a chance of scattered showers and possibly a storm. 
And then on the following day, this is Thursday, May the 6th, we go dry. Everything's out of here. It looks like a gorgeous day. We'll check the end of the forecast period, May the 14th. And uh, the westerlies beginning to shift a little north, which is what they do uh, as you get later into May. Trough axis off to the north. That suggests a cold front coming in here with the better dynamics to the north. But as we have pointed out often, we have seen the model all over the road out there in uh, voodoo land, so the confidence in anything specific is awfully small. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We will have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.